and it's together and it's not going good it looks like a hard piece of wood it looks like a dick where am i supposed good to morning to please welcome to the show of jake spounty that's right and it is a Wednesday, a what the fuck Wednesday, November, nope, December, got myself there, December the 1st, 2021, let's do it on Jake's Bounty, I'm in the garage. And this is not a part of the design, this is not a part of the design, I followed the instructions just fine, why does it look like dick, and this is not a part of the design. All right, not a part of the design right there from the band Jizz from their album Rape Ship, uh, talking about how they put together an entertainment center and it looks like a dick at the very end for some reason. Who knows, right? I'm going to go ahead and tell you about today is December 1st, the first of the month. It's the first of the month. Now I have my snap card filled up. Get up, get up, wake up, wake up. All right, oh, so we got that going on. Uh, it is Wednesday, or what the fuck Wednesday. I'd like to tell you about my sponsors. We've got Romeo and Juliet cigars right here. One for $3.99, or you get thir uh, 30 of them. You get 10 of them for $30. You can get 30 of them. It'll be a lot more than just $30, though, all right? And also, we have 3 9 Games Puzzles, Trivia Challenge, especially designed to keep your brain young. All right, here's Jake's Bounty as well, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the news. Um, big news, world news. Three students dead, eight injured, um, besides just students, but staff members as well. Uh, yesterday at a Michigan high school, this happened. A uh, 15 year old is in custody. It happened in Oakland County, Michigan, uh, just 42 miles away from Detroit. It happened at 12:52. PM the suspect was arrested uh, arrested in three minutes and uh, apparently he used a nine millimeter Sig Sayer SP202 two pistol. If I said that wrong, please you know don't put me on the stake. I'm not a gun aficionado. Um, it was loaded with seven rounds and unfortunately uh, these are the people that lost their lives. Tate Mirror was only 16, Hannah St. Julian was only 14, and Madison Baldwin was 17. They all passed away, and like I said, eight more were injured, and when we have more updates on this story, we will bring them to you, all right? Firefighters are battling a large fire in an abandoned building in Carruthers. This happened at 4.30 a.m. at Old Fiesta Market, okay? Uh, this was on Tahoe Avenue between Oak and Henderson, and uh, the cause is still under investigation. They kind of think it was one of those fires to keep, uh, you know, people warm, whether it be homeless or other, and it just got out of control. But they're still looking at what caused it, all right? A reward offered for info on hit and run. Um, this happened to, uh, hope I'm saying this right, Eben Hammond. Um, in July, near Road 4 and 27 in Oakhurst, uh, L.A. Drive, uh, right there by Road 4 and 27. He was skateboarding and was hit by a car. Uh, There's a $9,000 reward for the car. Uh, any information uh, would be very helpful, and you can go ahead and do that if you have so. Man shot and killed in Northwest Fresno. This happened on Ashland Mark, 6 p.m. yesterday. No suspects. And uh, there's more info uh, when we have it. If you guys happen to have some information about this case, go ahead and tell the Fresno PD. All right, Fresno State quarterback, Jake Hayner, enters a transfer portal. You're like, what the fuck is that? At least that's what I said when I heard that. Um, that means that he can go anywhere he wants, uh, transfer into any... Uh, school he wants. He might go back to University of uh, Washington, which is where he started out at and then was transferred to uh, Fresno State. And they think they might he might do that because uh, recently the uh, coach from Fresno State went to University of Washington, so they think he might follow him there. Don't really know if that's going to happen, but we will wait and see. Um, Hayner uh, has 380 300, 
3,810 yards and 32 touchdowns, all right? So doing very well for himself. Um, I think this year, this season was his best, all right? So let's go ahead right now and get into some trivia, all right? We've got three nine games, puzzles, trivia, questions, specially designed all of this for you to keep your brain young. Uh, last few days I've been able to find some, so uh, let's go ahead and see if I can do this again, all right? Um, no, that one's hard, or it looks hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Stinky Pinky. Well, that's an easy joke. <laughs> we have 20th century humorist George S. Kaufman to thank for this game and a title, usual, unusual title, each stinky pink answers. Contains words that rhyme, but you have to figure out which is the rhyme and offbeat definition. A juvenile breathing organ. A juvenile breathing organ. Okay, fuck that. Um, <laughs> uh, all the answers in this game are backwards, no. Who hosted Bet Your Life on NBC from 1950 to 1961? I uh, don't know. Um, you've got one minute to come up with a million one word answers as possible. We'll put the phrase out of blank. We came up with 30, including out of bounds, out of touch. Out of tune, out of order, out of, uh, oh, out of time, out of, oh, out of, out of time, out of order, out of tune, out of touch. I should know more than just five when there's 30 of them. <laughs> uh, geez Louise. Um, I can't think of any more. I know there's more out there out of time, out of tune, out of order, out of touch, out of bounds, out of... Is that of sorts one? I don't know. But let's go ahead and find page 78. The answer is to page 78. Had a big date. She didn't do anything for me. Uh, yeah, 78. Here we go. Out of bounds. All right. The other ones are out of body, out of breath, out of character, out of commission, out of control, out of date, uh, out of fashion, out of favor, out of focus, out of hand. Out of it, out of joint, out of line, out of luck, out of mind, out of nowhere. I should have known that one. Out of order, I got that one. Out of place, out of pocket, out of practice, out of print, out of print, out of reach, out of sight, out of sorts. Yes, out of step, out of tune, town, wedlock, and work. Okay, so I did really bad. Hopefully you guys did better. Uh, give you guys some other uh, maybe you know, an endless amount of time and go ahead and try it again because I'm sure you guys have forgotten the ones I've listed and just put out of blank and then start filling them in once again. And don't don't put no time restriction on you guys, all right? This is all just for fun and for your memory. And if it helps you, I, you know, I think it's helped me, but then I smoke it all away. <laughs> so who the hell knows? All right, want to go ahead and... Get to my what the fuck story. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it happened back November 23rd. So you might have heard it, you might have not. It happened November 23rd of this year. That was like, what, two days before Thanksgiving. So a man wielded an AK-47 uh, holds a little Caesars pizza employee uh, at gunpoint over the wait time of his pizza. I guess it wasn't hot and ready. <laughs> 63 year old man from Tennessee, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, was waiting for his pizza for over 10 minutes. This man, Charles Dye Jr. of Knoxville, Tennessee, 
also was waiting for his free breadsticks. He left his car, and many people thought, oh, he's going to wait at his car. But he returned with his AK-47 and demanded his food. Uh, instead, uh, the, the customer who was already uh, ahead of him, who had already received their food, uh, ended up giving their hot and ready pizza to him. And he was satisfied with that. And he left the premises shortly thereafter the police came. And they arrested him. They were able to track him down. And he faces four counts of aggravated kidnapping. He's being held on a $90,000 bond. And he could face up to 60 years in uh, prison, which would mean a life sentence or death sentence, really, for him. Because he's 63, all right? Uh, minimum he could pay is $50,000 fine, all right? Well, let's go ahead and... First laugh at that idiot for holding up a, a little Caesar just because he didn't get his pizza. And just, wow. Imagine if he did, like was at like a real establishment and didn't get his way. Just how it would go down differently. Whew. All right. Well, let's go ahead and look at my cans. And let's see what I got today. Got a water bottle. Got a rock star. I got a few of these. Um, Another Aquafina, Red Bull. Let's see. We've got Pure Leaf Tea and Rockstar Energy, another one. Smaller. Alright, that's what she said. Smaller. <laughs> Spilled some juice. Alright. Let me just get a rag and clean it up real quick. Alright, I'll show you what I got on my bounty. Okay, here we go. Still gonna be sticky, that's what she said. All right, I found a whole dollar bill. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. All right, found it over there by a &PM. It was all wadded up, say like this. And I was like, is it even an extra dollar bill? Is it ripped? What's the deal? I opened it up and it's like a real dollar. So good things there. And good things will happen tomorrow because we're having Throwback Thursday. That's right. So we'll take a little jaunt down memory lane. Also have the news, my bounty, so much more. Hopefully some more music from Jizz. I uh, hope you guys are liking their album, Rape Ship. Uh, again, you can get over here at uh, Jake's Bounty when you type in the words Rape Ship. Um, also, uh, I want to tell you about my sponsors. We've got Romeo and Juliet uh, Cigars. One for third, one for three ninety nine. No, not one for thirty dollars. It'd be one great cigar, right? Um, and then if you want ten of them, they're thirty dollars. All right. And also three night games, puzzles, and trivia challenge to keep your brain young, right here at Jake's Bounty as well. And that's gonna do it for us today. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. And hey, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. I'll see you later. Here's some more jizz with um. Their song, not part of the design. Uh, why does this always happen to me? Just two years ago, when I built the custom home. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself day. Records Production 2021. You can follow him on Facebook, his channel, his website. Go and leave the like, ring that bell. And as always, please subscribe. How can this be happening again? It flashed back in my head. This is what.